So, ayun. Kailangan ko mag-unload ng ibang mga sapatos ko. Hello mga kadisipulo and this is your legitimate uncle Tito Preacher no? um, In this channel we talk about lifestyle Men's lifestyle in particular Pomade, barbering, grooming no? uh, Motorcycles And everything that has to do with Pretty much manhood no? And business as well Etc 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 So you know, so sabi ko nga mag unload ako ng ibang shoes ko And before I do that I want to just show you a rundown Of the shoes na meron ako na na-acquire ko since 2016. Ngayon, bakit 2016 lang? Kasi, I was flat broke no from for several years before 2016. 2016 lang ako medyo nakabawi. So, kuti-kuti, doon ko sinimulan na kahit pa paano bumili ng mga ilan ngilan na gamit no, for myself. With that being said, let's go. November of 2016, this is the very first boots na binili ko. This is the Timberlands boots, no? At nakikita nyo, sobrang worn out na siya kasi hindi ko siya naalagaan. As I told you before, hindi ako marunong mag-alaga ng suede. So, when I got this, I don't know paano mag-alaga. It ended up na nasira ko yung suede. But, alam mo yun, it's okay. Masama, nakakasama na loob. Pero, it is what it is. Ayan yung mga battle scars niya. I use this for lahat ng mga rides namin, no? Kasama ko yung mga, yung mga kagrupo ko. And um, yeah, it's a sturdy boots, no? Ano, makita mo, ito lang yung naging butas niya ng sira niya. Pero overall, sobrang tibay, sobrang ganda niya, no? Kasi nga naman, uh, before to ginamit as fashion, uh, as, part of, as part of, you know, fashion sense ng mga tao, this is originally work boots and, and hiking boots. So, talagang it is built to last talaga. Parang yung mga caterpillar na boots. Now, around December of 2016, I got this. This is another boots. This is the Red Wing Iron Setter. Now, the Red Wing Heritage Boots is um, one of the most famous boots pag ikaw ay into heritage wear. Especially denims, salvage, no? You'll never miss out on Red Wings. Ngayon ay, ang tagal na neto no makita mo naman, no? medyo yellowish na rin, pero ang ganda rin niya, no? battle scars, and yung sa, makikita mo yung sa may shifter yan ng, ano, ng motorcycle. Eh, no? And this is one of my favorite boots, no? uh, Red Wing. No? Kumbaga, I also have the Makto 8871 a few years back, pero in-unload ko siya because I need to start up something. And ito na lang yung iniwan ko na Red Wing Boots. Hopefully, uh, siguro by next year or next next year, maybe I could buy another one. Medyo expensive lang. Ayoko pang gumastos ng ganong kalaki ulit for um, a Red Wing Boots anytime soon. So come 2017, ano, sabi ko meron akong dalawang boots. Kailangan ko naman ng something different. So this is the next one that I got, which is the Vans Slip-On, the classic one. The last time that I got, that I had this one was around 2014. And napaka-convenient niya. Alam niyo naman kung bakit kasi, di ba, slip on lang. So, you'll never go wrong with this, no? Ito rin na favorite ko pag umaalis ako na dyan, dyan lang, pumunta dito, pumunta doon. Kasi, susot mo lang talaga siya literally. It goes very well with any kind of uh, outfit. Pwede shorts, pwede kang naka-pants. Tapos yung color niya, no? Uh, madali yung parisan. So, wala tayong maging problema. Ngayon, after no, no, hindi ako bumili. Now, come 2018, this is the next one that I got. This is the um, Dr. Martens Cherry Red Boots. This is the vegan leather. Yes, you heard me right. Vegan. Now, bakit vegan? Because the leather is synthetic. Hindi siya galing sa kahit anong animal. It came from um, plants. In fact, now, why did the people from Doc Martens came up with something like this? I'm not quite sure, but I'm thinking most likely is because there are people, no, yung mga vegans, no, na advocate nga nila is not really using any uh, animal products, di ba? Sa mga kung ano man yung, not only sa pagkain, pero in, in anything. So that's why they came up with the vegan boots. Now, in the same year, in September, this is the next one that I got. This is the 
Nike Ebernon Low. This is one of my favorite shoes because this is the first Nikes that I got from 2016. Maganda rin dito is this is leather, no? Kaya madali siyang linisin. Hindi mo na punas-punas lang. Pero ang problema ko dito when I got this is hindi ako familiar pa paano mag-alaga ng mga ganitong klaseng sapatos. So ang problema ngayon, nanilaw na siya. Kung may nakikita niyo ba yan? Ayun, nanilaw na siya. Tapos meron na siya mga stains. Ngayon, hindi ko alam paano ito tatanggalin. I saw some videos online na meron mga products tayo na pwede siyang paputin ulit. Um, hindi, ko, hindi, hindi lang ako sure kung mag-work yun for this one. Pero kung kayo, meron kayong suggestion no? kung paano paputin ito, kung ano yung mga products na yun. I-comment nyo na lang below, then um, tatry natin paputin ito, no? i-project natin. Kasi sayang eh, gustong gusto ko ito eh, kaso naninilaw na yung soul niya. So gusto ko siya na siyang mabalik yung white para pogi-pogi na ulit. So after 2018, hindi na ako ulit pumili. Um, nagpahinga muna ako sa pag-purchase ng mga shoes, no? kasi mayroong iba pinaglaanin ng pera. Until last year, eto na po yun. So September of 2020, the first Jordan 1 shoes that I purchased. This is the Jordan 1 Orange Blue. This is the very first Jordan 1 that I bought for myself. And since September ko siya binili kasi sabi ko, birthday ko naman. So, baka naman, pwede ko mga regalohan yung sarili ko, di ba? So, dito talaga nagsimula lahat. September of last year, I bought this as a birthday present for myself. Ngayon, last year, October, eto naman. <laughs> Ito naman yung bisunod na binili ko. This is the Word Balance One Up Siege. One of the best, best purchase that I did in my lifetime. Bakit? Kasi I got this for only 1,000 peso. Pero yung 1,000 peso na, 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 na nilabas mong pera for this, sobrang sulit kasi this is one of my favorite uh, running and walking shoes. Kasi ito yung pinaka most comfortable shoes na meron ako. Sa lahat ng shoes na meron ako. And I would choose this over Jordans, over boots, no, over vans at any given day. Pag palalakarin mo ko na malayo kasi nga sobrang comfortable nito sa paa. Tapos yung price pa niya is hindi ganun kamahal, di ba? If you want to check on that vlog nandito yung lalagay ko, okay? Ngayon, come November, eto na po tayo. So September, October, then November. This is the next one that I got which is laging yung nakikita sa akin. This is the Jordan 1 High. Ko JP no in gray and nandito yan nilink ko dito yung unboxing somewhere on top so click nyo na lang din this is my favorite Jordan 1 shoes so far actually medyo biased ako sa mga sa sapatos ko ito yung lagi kong sinusot I don't know why gandang ganda lang talaga ako sa kanya no and ang dali niya kasing suotin eh dali niyang parisan kahit anong ano kahit anong get up mo bagay siya eh. So, kaya ko rin siya siguro gustong gusto sinusot. No? Now, a few weeks after ko binili yun, yung Jordan 1 na ko JP, eto naman yung sumunod na binili ko. This is the Dr. Martens Sex Pistol no collaboration. Ngayon, na, ang ganda nito kasi, isa rin to sa mga favorite ko kasi, ang ganda ng details niya sa my shoes, eh no? No, pati itong, itong laces niya is interchangeable meron tong black if you want to check on the vlog unboxing of this shoes it would be linked here above no? so ito talaga isa sa mga favorite ko no? and a good buy na sapatos so far na nabili ko sobrang panalo talaga wala akong masasabi now sabi, ko, now sabi ko nung binili ko yung dalawang yun sabi ko I will not buy any shoes again soon hindi na tama na kasi nga wala na akong pera ayoko nang gumastos pa and yet here we are this month I got two more shoes yes this is the uh, Jordan 1 mid platinum white if you want to check the unboxing of this it will be linked in here and this is the Air Force 1 Carhartt collaboration. If you want to check the unboxing of this, it would be here. Ngayon, gaya na sabi ko, no, I need to unload some of my shoes. Now, why am I unloading this, these shoes? 
Well, sabi ko sa inyo, hindi ako mayaman. Ano? So, if I want to buy something new, I need to sell the old ones that I have. It just so happened na meron ako nakitang isang sapatos na gustong gusto kong bilhin. Hindi siya sneakers. It's actually a boots. No? And for, wala akong pera para bilhin yun. Wala sa budget ko para bilhin yun. So, kung hindi naman ako mayaman at wala akong extra cash, how can I afford that? I can only afford that if I'll be unloading and then reloading. Unloading my not so favorite sneakers unloading my slightly old shoe and then buying a new one now yung total value of the money na makukuha ko in selling this two three pairs would be enough no kung hindi ano pa sobra pa dun sa bibiling kong isang sapatos kung ano sapatos yun hindi ko muna sasabihin baka maudot pa eh <laughs> So yun, no? tapos kung may sobra man, eh, ipapasok ko yung funds na yun muna no? sa projects na ginagawa ko. Kasi meron akong tinatayong, tinatry na itayong businesses ulit na kailangan ko ng pera. So ipapasok ko yung sobra doon para ma-start na natin. No? Kung ano man yun, uh, malalaman nyo din in time. So yun lang. No? So basically, that's the reason why I will be unloading some of my shoes. No? Sana... Uh, babenta ko na agad and hopefully ayun nga sana mabutang ko pa yung sapatos na gusto ko <laughs> so yun lang ano again pag meron kayong gustong biling sapatos no tapos wala na makamit ko yung budget no if you have some old stuff that you you can sell na hindi mo naman nagagamit and it's not a necessity then ibenta nyo na sayang naman di ba or kung wala naman kung alam mo yun kung may pera ka pero saktuhan lang wag mo ka rin bumili pa muna no try to have your money work for you try to invest in businesses no in people invest on other people na pa, paano, paano mo pala lagawin yung pera mo invest in yourself in your skills para pag yung kakarampot na pera mo mapalago mo pa ng mas marami para makabili ka ng mga sapatos na mas marami din kumbaga kung meron kang pera ngayon pero in, binili mo lang yan no ng sapatos eh after niyan wala na kumbaga ito sapatos is a liability no hindi naman nag ano, unless kung ano yan no nagtumataas yung value or plato na yung value then i guess that's okay pero for people like us na hindi naman mayaman hindi naman tayo makakabili ng mga ganong kamahal na shoes eh. so what do you do with your money you invest it with things na kailangan mong uh, kumita ng pera so businesses or skills no para sa iyo para tumaas yung stock value mo tumaas yung value mo tumaas yung kita mo then therefore mas madaling bumili ng heat pairs or whatever you want no for yourself. So yun lang no, isang mabilisan lang again salamat salamat sa panonood no if you haven't subscribed like on the subscribe button social media pages here please follow please 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 naman <laughs> and this is your legitimate uncle no shout out hi minds Omar Baliu oh yeah Arya yeah. Life is in